Hello everyone, my name is Ashan Jolly and welcome to a Let's Play on Fable Anniversary. So let's get started. New game. I'm gonna do chicken, which I know doesn't sound great, but that was the original difficulty in the original Lost Chapters and the first Fable game of course. So I believe it's the best balance, because I've played through the game on Heroic and it just feels like it's more tedious. Like, it just takes longer to do things, like you have less health and enemies do more damage, which is really the only difference apart from the gold scaling. And I'm not going to be using any glitches because that kind of ruins the fun. So, let's get started. Deep in the forest of Albion lay the small town of Oakvale, unchanged by time and untouched by the sword. Nice. Here lived a boy and his family, a boy dreaming of greatness, but one day being a hero. Sometimes he imagined himself as a noble knight yeah. or a powerful wizard. And other times, he dreamt he'd be an evil warrior. But in all his dreams of greatness, he could not possibly imagine the power of the destiny that lay before him. Come on, wake up. Ugh, Daydreaming again. Sleep again. Just like your mother, mind always wandering. Well, let it wander off to find your sister, will you? Sure, can do. She's out playing by the Barrow Fields gate. Remember, you haven't given her a birthday present yet. Don't tell me you forgot to get her one. Well, I'm not bailing you out this time, son. Hmm. I'll tell you what, I'll give you a gold piece for each good deed you do around Oakvale. That should be enough to buy her a present. Now, get moving and stay out of trouble. All right, let's do this. Sup, little girl, what's, what's your deal? All right, who's Rosie? Her stuffing needs changing today, and I can't find her. Please help. She's a lovely little furry uh. bear with a blue patch on her back. All right, I'll, I'll help you find her. But first, kick the chicken. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Young tear away. What are you laughing at? I could beat you up. <laughs> Ooh, what's going on here? Let's let's see. What? Uh, I, I was just um, I, I've never even met this woman. Sure, you haven't. <laughs> Look, Sonny, keep your mouth shut about this. All right. right. Sure. My wife's at home with our little ones, and I'm supposed to be working. Fair but enough. A man should be entitled to do what he likes, don't you think? Uh, you should have kept it single, you know, like keep it in a casual relationship. If you want to be with multiple women, be upfront. And be in a casual relationship with no commitment. I guess, yeah, you could have a commitment and have um, multiple sexual partners, but still, you got to be honest about it. Cheating is not the answer. Tell you what, if you keep this little secret, I'll give you a gold piece. One gold piece? Not enough. Nah. Just don't tell my wife. I can't let her find out about this. Yeah, sure. Sure, I'm not gonna, you know, tell your wife. I'm not gonna go run over, find her, you know. Hey, Mrs. Uh, adulterous man. <laughs> Mrs. Adulterous. Let's go find her. I believe she's right over here. Honestly, where's that good for nothing husband? Honestly. Oh, you're your line. <laughs> where's that filthy layabout husband of mine? <laughs> With some woman I don't doubt. Well, you're not wrong. I run his house, bring up his children. Oh, he's got children. I get in return? <sighs> Awful. Nothing. If you find him, let me know, won't you? Of course. Yeah, let's mess up their marriage. You have? Right. I'm gonna turn him into Balverine food. Nice. Thank you, young sir, for telling me. Alright. I like how that's a good deed. I love it. Alright. Let's see what's going on over here in the storage barn area. Listen, lad, could you do me a favour? I'm curious where their accent's from, because I've heard someone uh, speak like that in real life. I'm from England, by the way, South England. 
And I believe it's northern. It's like, well, thank goodness, lad. No, that's that's more Welsh. I'm not. I'm, I can't really do accents that well. I can do American like this, like kind of southern and all that. And uh, oh, mate, what are you doing, fam? That's just a bit all right. Yeah. <laughs> and I can talk really posh because I'm just so British. Because I can do a few I accents, to, like you know, Russian, but I don't know. <laughs> Watch this stock for me. There's a good lad. Alright, yeah, Just sure. Stand and don't move. Just stand between those two stacks and don't move. No, that that's that's another accent, I don't know. Right. Alright, let's do this. Since this is just waiting, I'm doing all the good I'm doing my mostly a good run. So I'm not gonna be doing any evil deeds right now. Quick! While he's away, smash his barrels up and see what's inside. See unless what's inside. Scared, <laughs> unless you're just a big blubbing girl. Big blubbing girl. Come on. Come on. <laughs> just understand yeah. me, like what accents do I know? I know my regular one. I know spiffing when posh British. So I know a bit like, you know, Cockney. Yeah. When you prefer um, to be what else do I know? I can do like kind of an over the top yeah, stereotypical I Russian. Uh, what else can I do? Oh, I can do American. And I can do a bit of higher pitched American. I that's the same accent, alright. <laughs> but yeah. Um Yeah, accents are fun. I just you know, need to fill the space somehow. Because that's what, like fifteen seconds of waiting? <laughs> alright. Cool, cool, he's on he's on the way back. On his way back. Excellent, thanks, lad. You've done me a big favour. All right, so, uh, no problem, man. What a splendid watchman you made. Thanks, bro. And as I recall correctly, there is a big uh, kid picking on little kid. What's up? Get him off me! Please help! He goes around the town beating up anyone smaller than him. Ah, how rude. As someone who's six foot five. 320 pounds, or 145 kilograms, either one, uh, goes well. I learned that there's no real reason to beat up anyone smaller than you, unless, you know, they're attacking you. Because they pose no threat. And if they pose no threat, there's no reason to beat them up. Because otherwise that's bullying. And that's not right. But you look strong. I bet you could scare him off for good. <laughs> Man. <laughs> I just made up a whole, uh, you know, philosophical, ethical point about how to be a good person just you know to brag about how big i am because you know i'm six five and that's really my own only personality trait <laughs> joking by the way i, I just kind of ramble i'm not <laughs> i'm just starting off for this not really starting off i did let's plays when i was like 13 to 15 but they're all deleted what are you doing what are you doing i'm sorry i'll leave him alone just please don't hit me again <sighs> all right sure It's all good. Don't yeah. worry, little man. I'll let you look after Rosie. She'll be safe with you. Rosie, the teddy bear. Dope. Let's give back to the little girl. That'll be four good deeds. One more deed than I needed. Sick. Let's see. There you are, little girl. Let's roll. Whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> you found Rosie. Thank you so much. Ah, no worries. Uh, my pleasure. Yeah, go for it. Four good deeds. Hell yeah, let's kick a, kick a chicken. <laughs> yeah. Let's go talk to old daddy. Brom. Well done, lad. Here's your reward for those good deeds. Thanks, dad. Well, I think you may have enough there, son. Have you spoken to the trader? Let's go do this now. Let's go talk to that trader. I love this game. I've put in over 132 hours on the Anniversary Edition. That's, so that's not counting when I was like 7 and I had the original Fable on the Xbox. I'm 19, actually. I was born in 2000. So that's like 3... I should have had the Lost Chapters, but I only had the first Fable on my Xbox. And I play that all the time. When I was young, like in between the age of like 7 to 10, the three main game series I really loved. Fable, Ninja Gaiden, and God of War. 
I was seven, like in between seven and ten, like <laughs> those are like mostly 18 plus games. I mean, Fable is like, what, 16? But no, oh. my phone th thought I said, okay, Google for some reason. <laughs> All right. But yeah, those games are like 16 to 18 plus, but you know, I I'm super mature. <laughs> yeah, it's a bad day. You haven't got her a present yet. Of course, I have not done that because I am such a responsible brother. Nice. Guaranteed to put a smile on any sister's face for only three gold pieces. Cool. Yeah, sounds good. They are yours. Wish your sister a happy birthday from me now, won't you? Of course, will do. Chocolates. Pretty good. Pretty decent. A decent gift, yeah. Chocolate. With gifts, I feel personally that something that isn't temporary, like food, you eat it, it's gone, right? I feel like a gift should be something tangible, like something that'll just won't be over, Hello, like a watch brother. or I hope you haven't forgotten something. I don't know. Like Although I did gift a bottle of alcohol for one of my friends' I'm 18th birthday. So night. yeah. <laughs> it was another of those dreams. What can I say? I was standing in this field when something happened. But I can't remember what. Never mind that, though. I'm still waiting for my present. Of course. Cool. Sure. I knew you were going to bring me chocolates. It's just like my dream. Interesting. Come on. Let's go home. Mother will be back for my party any minute now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What's here? Nothing interesting. Cool. Let's go. Wait. There's something wrong. What's up? Ugh. Oh, no. This is the wrong reaction. It's really that scene got to me as a child, oh, like, You've got to hide. like, that's a life, it's over. Got one. Oof. That was just a thwack. He didn't even cut into it, he just like thwacked her with his sword. Evil had come to Oakvale. Bandits wielding torches and steel, slaying and burning all in their path. Blood red flames lit the night as the villagers screamed and begged for mercy, and soon their bodies filled the streets. Then the raiders reached the last house where the boy and his family lived. It was then they had slaughtered so many to find. The father fought to protect his kin, but he was no warrior. He fell that was a tragic scene. Wounded. The bandits ripped the house apart, but could not find the boy. Through torture and threats, his mother and sister remained silent, and their furious attackers took them both. From the nearby woods, the boy watched as all he knew was taken away. His whole life was crushed to ashes. He was alone. All right, let's go find our family, or what remains of them at least. It's quite interesting how, like, the whole game starts off with your entire village being destroyed, everyone dying and all that sort of stuff. And later on in the game, once you're, like, strong enough level, you can do this if you want. You can go around killing all the villagers you want. There's nothing stopping you, which... I mean, there's, in most RPG games, there's nothing stopping you from killing NPCs. Which is just kind of interesting how this is how the game starts, and you're free to do whatever you want, which is kind of the point of the game. It's, um, it's all choice-based. It's not a choice-based game, but it's like, you choose whether you want to be evil or good. We must leave. It's not safe here. They're all dead. You don't want to join them, do you? No, not really. And give me your hand. Yeah, go ahead. Let's do it. Do 
Being able to like transport yourself like that would be so cool, wouldn't it? Hmm. I thought you'd have a stronger stomach than that. Come on. <sighs> Save your energy, boy. It's not me you want to fight. You might not realize it, but I just saved your life. There's nothing left for you in Oakvale. And if you'd stayed, you'd be as dead as the rest of them. Come with me. Yeah, let's go. My name is Maze, and I'm the head of the Guild of Heroes. You must have heard of it. You'll find nowhere safer in all of Albion, nor a better place to call your home. And if it's vengeance you want, you'll need the training only we can offer. Nice. Here we are. I'll introduce you to the Guildmaster. He'll be your guide from now on. I have a new student for you. Put him in the dorm upstairs with the girl. You don't look much like hero material to me, but Maze knows what he's doing, I suppose. Well, follow me then. Well, as you see, You'll be sure vengeance is a really well, strong motivator. Really clears the mind. She's playing in the woods right now. That's uh, Thor from Infinity War. If you didn't catch well, that, I don't think that was—I don't think that was the right wording at all. But yeah, it's great. <laughs> By the way, my, Thor is my favorite Marvel, like cinematic universe character. What's yours? Can comment down below. It's time to wake up. You must be my roommate. Hmm. Shorter than I expected. I'm six five. That's nineteen eighth percentile. Had the room to myself Shorter than now, I expected. Too. But that's all right. To be fair, you her brother is like what eight feet tall. Sounded like a bad nightmare. And built. Happens to a lot the first week. Thunder. Some don't even last that long. You won't either if you don't get moving. The guildmaster is waiting for us in the map room. All right, let's you go. You don't want to be late on your first day. Yeah, that's Follow a good me. idea. Let's go. Hmm. Looks like the guildmaster got tired of waiting for you. He's probably at the training grounds across the river. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Let's go find the Guildmaster and start our training. So these two guys here, you basically uh, challenge them to see if you can get to the demon door and back within what, 50 seconds or so. It's like, yeah, yeah, it's fine. We'll get like, what, 10 gold or something, but yeah, that's no point. <laughs> like, it's a fun thing to do, but right now, let's just stick with the main storyline. You've... All right, lad. It's time to see if you've any potential. Get in the ring. All right, let's do this. Now then, I want you to hit that dummy as hard as you can. Let's Just do keep it. Keep going till I tell you to stop. These guns, absolutely ready. Let's beat the crap out this dummy. Let's do this. You're not making much of an impact there, are you? Yeah, I guess not. Here, try with this. Let's equip that stick. Oh yeah, now we're now we're making some real damage. That's a lot of damage. When you destroy an enemy like this dummy, it drops an experience orb. Dope. These orbs contain the knowledge gained from killing the creature. It's very important that you collect these orbs, or you won't learn anything. Now pick it up. All right, let's do this. Well done, lad. Now then, tomorrow we'll. That's the guild alarm. Sounds like there might be something loose in the woods. This is a good opportunity to test your spirit. Nice. I'll wait for you at the guild woods entrance while you deal with the problem. Let's Once do this. Done, we can talk about starting your training.
Let's go crush some beetles. Yeah. Swish, swish. I believe this game would really benefit. Oh god, stop avoiding me. Would really benefit from like a a, a combat system like like a watered down version of like Devil May Cry, where you can do a regular combo. Where is where is that one? That. That. All right. Dope. We could do regular combo. So this say this was the regular combo. Or like in Devil May Cry, you could do like this. Oh no, not that. You could do button two button. Bro Stop it. Two button breaths, then wait for a second, and then continue going, and it'll do a different combo. And I just feel like that would, and you could have different pauses throughout, maybe like a X, X, then you go f press forward, then X, X, or something like that. I don't know. Just similar to like Devil May Cry, or even Ninja Gaiden at, at that point, that um, it just gives more variety. And if Fable 4 is coming, I would love to see uh, like just some sort of improved combat like that. Like I think Fable 3... A lot of people don't like Fable 3. I love the the characters, the voice acting, which I mean you should. Those are proper celebrities. It's like Michael Fassbender, Ben Kingsley, yeah. Simon Pegg. Like, characters are great. If All that good stuff is good. Gold, I'm sure the servants could use your help with something. But yeah, the oh, Fable series, like, night. the combat is better than a lot of RPGs. Better than like Skyrim. That's all. This is a controversial opinion, but I don't like I don't like the Elder Scrolls series. I just feel it's so dull. Which, I mean, it's nothing to do with the combat. <laughs> but, if a, if a game had good combat, like, say, God of War Ninja Gaiden, if Skyrim had God of War get Ninja Gaiden combat, the game doesn't matter how dull it is, it's gonna be good. But Skyrim, it's just, it feels very bleak. Like, the characters have no life to them. It's like, Fable is very lively. Very atmospheric. The towns are all great. Characters are good. But, yeah. <laughs> Enough of that. Enough with the, my ramblings. Leave your childhood behind and begin apprentice training. Yes, but I will save that for the next episode since it's already been 23-ish minutes. So, alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this first episode and my first try at Let's Playing since I was about 15. See you guys later, and goodbye.